the term holistic mission is uh, moving beyond just missionary preaching evangelism, but to actually talking about caring about the whole person. Uh, and that that is the kind of the missionary endeavor, right? The, the way that churches have engaged in, in kind of the global missions. And we talk about what is the mission of God in, in the book. But then we also juxtapose that with kind of uh, uh, global poverty uh, and um, development, global development and poverty alleviation, which is the secular kind of term. And the what both, I mean, Christian organizations do this work, but so do a lot of other organizations do that aren't faith-based, right? And they do this kind of uh, global development or poverty alleviation. And so we combine those two terms of holistic mission and poverty alleviation or global development and say, this is why we call it holistic transformation, because we're looking at both the efforts of the church bringing about the gospel, both in word and deed, but also uh, regarding the uh, poverty alleviation space that is both faith-based and secular. And we're saying this book is about trying to help the church understand both of those spaces, how to, how to merge and combine them, because we believe holistic mission is transformational development because you're caring about the physical and the emotional and the psychological needs of people, not just their spiritual uh, needs. And so getting to some of the misunderstandings is a lot of people think that what people in impoverished areas are lacking or are need, why they're in poverty is they just lack things. And so um, uh, we think that if we go and do things for them and get them up to material standards that we are familiar with or we feel comfortable with, that somehow that will just tra transform and change uh, their lives and situations, not realizing that some of the actual things we do as a as a country in our in, and I'm getting into our nation state, right? And like, what do we do militarily, economically, corporations? How those behave actually can really impact poor people in different parts of the world in significant ways, uh, in in ways that we don't necessarily understand. So we go off and do something good for them in material ways, and then we go back and our country is doing things, or our corporations are doing things that are actually harming them in a further, putting them further behind. 